Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. People of God, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise Him, amen. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Praise Emmanuel, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Dominion, adoration, and thanksgiving, purpose, praises, worship, and might. To the name of our King and our God. To the name of the ancient of the days. God be praised. God be worshipped. God be honored. Unto the Lord be all the glory. Unto the Lord be all the glory. Great things he has done. Unto the Lord be all the glory. Great things he has done my kandaram brahim doshayaba unto the lord be all the glory mighty things he has done unto manuel be all the glory great things he has done Unto the Lord be all the glory, great thing he has done. Unto Messiah be all the glory, mighty thing he has done. Makalaram Brahindo Shuri Bababa. Hey! Be thou glorified, O Lord, be thou magnified, be thou uplifted, be thou honored, be thou adored, and let thy glory be above all the earth forever and ever. You are the mighty man of battle, you are the mighty man of valor, you are the Elohim and Lion, you are the King of kings, you are the God of God, you are the Lord of lords. You are the Holy One of Israel, you are the Prince of Peace. Unto you alone be all the glory, dominion and thanksgiving, worship and might, to the name of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Daddy, we give you praise. We thank you. You are the mighty God. You are the ancient of the days. You are the Holy One. You are the Father of all. The Prince of Peace, the beginning and the ending. Have your way right now. Let thy divine power flow and move. And let thy name alone be glorified and honored. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, have your way. Flow and move in the power of your mind. We want to hear your word now. Let the word come forth and be healing to all. Let it be deliverance to all. Let it be comfort to all. Let it be restoration to all. Let it be sanctification to all. Let it be purification to all. Let it be renewal to us. Let it be revival to us. Let it cause every good thing in our life. As we hear your word right now, may we never remain the same. May we be renewed, revived, restored, and the glory of God be upon our lives. Father, have your divine and mighty and let thy name alone be glorified forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. What a great God. What a mighty God. 
What an excellent father. What a great God. To him be other glory. You're all welcome. I don't know who I'm talking to. The Lord said I should tell somebody that is listening to me right now and watching. He said, good news awaits you. If somebody listening right now, the Lord said, good news awaits you. It will no more be like Israel. What did you attempt? What did you get into? I have not been having peace. You say, ah, oh, I know how this thing delay. I know how it works. I know how this, I know the process, I know the process. But the Lord said, I should tell you, good news awaits you. That's a good news. 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 There is a good news. There is a good news. Hmm. It will no more be your way. It shall be done the way of the Lord. That's a good news for someone. There's a miracle on your way. Somebody, that's a miracle on your way. That's a miracle, miracle, miracle. That's a miracle on your way. The Lord will do a miracle for you. And your name alone will be glorified and magnified. And your name alone will be uplifted, praise and worship. And your name alone will be glorified and magnified. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Receive it. It's your portion. Possess it. Claim it. Bounce on it. Say it's mine. And surely it will be yours. Receive it of the Lord. A miracle awaits you. Good news awaits you. The Lord just wants to do something to prove to you that he is still real. He is still alive. He is still with you. His presence has not departed from you. That you are still his own child. That he still cares and he still loves you. That's exactly what the Lord wants to do. Receive it of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Like yesterday when I was preaching, I told people that people all over the world have celebrated by day all over the world. You see, yesterday it was a great celebration for people all over the world. But as I'm preaching to you right now, my question is this. Are you born again? Is Christ born in you? That man you celebrated. You ate, you cooked sweet food, you sat down, you eat, you drank. You see, born in your life. Very soon there will be a separation between those that believe in that man, Jesus of Nazareth, and they that doesn't believe in him. They that may call him and they that call him from the head. Very soon there will be a separation. They that love him, obey him, go through him, they will go up with him. But they that may celebrate, do the celebration, this and that, they will miss him. They will not be with him. He the most holy. He the most high. He the most excellent. Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus is coming. A reward that will soon come. The message I ministered yesterday of Scripture Union of Nigeria, the message we use in concluding is uh, my reward, the reward of the faithful. The reward of the faithful. And I love that song that says, My rewarder, my rewarder is coming. My rewarder, my rewarder is coming. My rewarder is coming. Your rewarder is coming. My rewarder is coming. Your rewarder is coming. Your rewarder is coming. My rewarder is coming. To God be all the glory forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He will soon come. Why not come over to the camp of the Lord Jesus? Why not come over to the camp of the believers? Camp of them that ardently believe in Jesus, that serve him in purity, in holiness and righteousness. Those that choose to deny themselves a lot of things here on earth, why not come over to that camp? And be on the camp of righteousness. You have nothing to lose than to be glad and happy and rejoice and dance and give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God all the praises. Every worship and mind, every dominion, adoration, and thanksgiving is ascribed unto his holy name. For unto him alone be all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. He's a loving Father. He is the great rock. Beside him, there is no God. Is all we have. He is our all in all. We must live to bless and praise, glorify and magnify, worship and honor him. Amen. And amen. We're talking about consecrate yourself. What does he mean? Keep yourself clean and pure for the Lord. 
you dedicate yourself to having a higher commitment, making an advancement, coming closer and closer and closer to this man of war, coming closer to rock of ages, coming closer to ancient of the days, coming closer to Emmanuel. That's what we're talking about. Coming closer to he that died and resurrected. Coming closer to he that died and resurrected is alive and will ever be forevermore. That's the God we're talking about. Can you come closer? Can you consecrate yourself? Say, all oh, these things are glamour for. Beautiful women, handsome men, fine cars, houses, traveling abroad, dollars, euro, pounds, yen, naira, cedish, all the monies of the world, rubies. All these things, I will not go with any of them. They will all be dropped here. Why not I consecrate my spirit, soul, and body and serve this man? And serve this man for consecrating myself. Every other thing that deceives you from serving this God in holiness and righteousness, you're going to abandon them. You're going to lose them. You're going to drop them here on earth. I don't know if you have... Yesterday, when I was preaching in Scripture Union Camp, I asked them a question. I told them, if you have heap, bags of dollars, bags of euro, bags of... Uh, 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 of pounds, euro, dollars, naira, and every pretty bag of gold. Um, there's fire outburst. You have just two minutes to escape. Not so two minutes. You have just 10 seconds to escape. From there, what will you do? Which one will you carry? They say no, they will abandon dollars. They will abandon gold. They will abandon euro. They will look for yourself. Do that now. They will go for yourself. They will want to escape. Go do that now. 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 Are you hearing what I'm saying? Do that now. Uh, but do as if you abandon everything. Champion your soul first. Bring forth your soul first. Project yourself first. See yourself as your soul as the most important thing that has ever existed. See your soul as more important than every other thing. See your soul as far more important, a great gift God has given to you to present back to him. Supposing that soul meets away and go to hell. Do you know how terrible it is? Hell is a very hot place. People are crying over there. And that is why consecration needs to be there. I've told you about things about consecration. I have told you that consecration must be voluntary. I've told you that consecration is unto the Lord. I've told you that consecration, God, you decide what you're going to do now. You're no more the one doing anything about yourself. I told you that consecration must be total handover. You're handed over. I told you that consecration is final. The moment you have done that, you have dropped yourself. And finally today, on the 10 systems you need to know about consecration, before we get into the deeper part of consecration, the number six is that it is continual. Consecration is just not what you do now and consecrate and say, okay, you have consecrated. No, no, no. It must be continual. You must do it every time. Continual. From this level of consecration, you get another level of consecration, get another level of consecration, get another level of consecration, get another level from there. You go from level to level to level. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't know what level of consecration you are right now. Child of God, this is time for us to arise every day and consecrate ourselves before the Lord. Don't be satisfied with where you are spiritually. Make up your mind and say, I want to go higher. I love that song that says, I am going higher every day. I am going higher every day. I'm going higher every day in Christ. I want to move higher. I want to move forward. I want to move forward. I want to go higher in Christ Jesus every day. That is exactly what God desires of you. That's what God desires of me. That we should go higher. That we should move forward. And we should go higher. We should go higher in Christ daily. We should go higher in Christ day by day. That's the will of God for our life. God will want us to go higher day by day. God will want us to go higher every day. So consecration must be daily. That's what we're reading from Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Romans chapter 12 verse 1. That's what we're reading from this day. Thank you so much for bearing with us for the holidays we have been. Uh, not because we are resting and relaxing our mind. We are holiday. No, no, no. We have other program. We just finished with Scripture Union. Uh, of Nigeria, their camp meeting, we just finished with them yesterday being Sunday. 
the ninth day of the month of April. We just finished a program with them that started around Thursday last week. Aha. Uh -huh. And when we finished on Monday, we left another program. On Sunday, I mean, we left another program. That's why we we're not there on Monday and on Wednesday. God is helping us, not just because we folded our hand and relaxed. No, 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 no. We've been very busy somewhere for the Lord to the glory of God's holiness. We're praying for you, and I know you're praying for us. Oh, do you know it is happening a week today? Do you know that? Do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know it's happening a week today? Many of you, uh, some of you have not asked their questions. Can you ask your question now? We are going to close everything about question uh, on Saturday. If you have not asked your question till Saturday, don't ask again. Uh, we'll be rounding it up that Saturday so that we'll compile questions and then begin to get solution to those questions and answer them. Remember, um, it's going to happen just exactly a week today. It's going to happen. We're going to have a marriage seminar session where we're going to have a question where we're going to answer. And then a lot of corrections, a lot of ideas, a lot of things to be tuned into our marriage. Marriages have caused a lot of pains, problems. Marriage have led a lot of people to hell and destruction. Marriage have led a lot of people to untimely death. Marriage have led a lot of people to, to, to no more trust or com have confidence in people. Marriage has caused a lot of failures, a lot of pains, a lot of setback, a lot of so many things. And that's just why we get into it. The devil knows that when your marriage is sweet, your home is sweet, then you can go to the church of Jesus Christ and the church will be sweet. Too. But when the marriage is shattered, broken, when the marriage is not working, that is why the devil knew that when our home is good, the church will be good. Our community will be good. Society will be good. Everywhere will be good. And that is why he come to tell you, don't agree. Don't forgive. Uh, don't love again. Don't care again. He begin to give you unnecessary wisdom and sense you think that that is God leading you. A lot of people have gone into marriage with their human wisdom. And they're acting what they're acting according to human wisdom, not according to the standard and will of God. So what are we trying to say, people of God? Please, 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 and please be part of that program. Continue sharing it. Continue broadcasting it. Reshare it again. If you have shared it in your WhatsApp or whatever, reshare it again. So that by Monday, oh, we're going to have a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of people. Thank God it's not through Zoom. It's through, WhatsApp, it's through Facebook. So that we will not say, ah, we have only... 200 space or 300 space. No, people can come in from any part of the world and get it filled up and we'll go ahead. Hallelujah. So we're talking about consecrate yourself before the Lord. Now, today we're saying that consecration is continual. It's what you do daily. Continue consecrating yourself. Every day cleanse yourself. Purify yourself. Watch yourself before the Lord. Just as you're taking your bed. There are people that early in the morning before they go out, they take their bed. And then, again, you know, in the afternoon when it's so hot, they take their bath. In the evening, they take their bath. If you can take your bath two or three times a day, how, what of your spiritual being? What of your inner being? Just like somebody was saying that some people, some med people in medicine say, people will get up and cleanse their teeth every morning. They refuse to clean their colon. That from year to year to year to year, their colon has not been cleansed. They don't know that it is as much to clean the colon as you're cleansing your teeth at the same time. All right? So by the divine grace of God, so oh, we are talking about consecrating ourselves so that we are not going to make shipwreck of the ministry and our life, so that we are not going to make shipwreck of every so that when the rapture shall occur, we shall make it to heaven. Child of God, consecrate yourself. Man of God, consecrate yourself. Woman of God, consecrate yourself. Reconsider what has happened in your life. Can you make a U-turn and say, yes, I've gone astray here, but I want to come back. It's now you have opportunity. The moment death call, or call, you don't have opportunity to amend again. The moment rapture call, you don't have opportunity to amend yourself anymore. Now is the time that we should amend our way. Now is the time we should go to God. Like we're saying that consecration is continual. From what we see right now, in the book of Romans chapter 12, we're reading from verse number 1. Romans chapter 12 from verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the message of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. You present your body a living sacrifice. You know, the, the Bible says, by the message of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. 
making it to be a living sacrifice. A living, that's the difference between a dead sacrifice. A dead sacrifice is the one you got, and then you kill the animal, use the part of it, you this one for burning, you this one for torment, you this and this and that. That's a dead sacrifice. But when it means a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice is the one after you have used it to sacrifice, you leave it alive and it has perimeter, it has circumference where it shall be circulating, it has a place where it shall be moving, it's alive. But you need to be careful so that it doesn't go where it's not supposed to go. It doesn't move where it's not supposed to move. Jesus was made a sacrifice to run. We are supposed to have died on the cross of Calvary. And when God allowed Jesus to die, when we come and say we sacrifice ourselves through the blood of Jesus of Nazareth, then we'll be Become the living sacrifice. That's why the Bible says, present your body as a living sacrifice. Where well, sacrifice would have taken the position of Jesus, we would have died. But Jesus said, let me die for all of them. The Savior came and died on the cross of Calvary and was made a sacrifice to us. And today we're following put as a living sacrifice. May the mighty hand of grace help us. May God himself in his infinite might and power help us. May God in his magnified authority help us. May God see us through in every aspect that will follow him and be like him in the name of Jesus Christ. So the Bible said, therefore, uh, we are already Romans chapter 1 verse 12. Romans chapter 12 verse 1, sorry. Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Romans 12 1. I beseech you, therefore, by the, therefore, brethren, by the message of God. I beseech, beseech me, please. I plead with you. I am begging you. I am persuading you. I am convincing you. I am pressing it on on you, brethren. Hey, people of God. You see, it is people of God that will consecrate themselves, not sinners. No sinners are getting deeper, deeper in sin. Therefore, children of God are supposed to consecrate themselves deeper, deeper in the Lord. You said, by the message of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy. Present it holy. Always wear a clean garment, spiritually, physically. Always make sure your garment is not then. You know, your heart is the spiritual garment. Supposing you have unforgive, lies, anger, evil thought, and all this thought, you are dating the garment. Oh my God. Present your body a living sacrifice, holy. Just not only holy, but acceptable. Do you know there are things you may feel that is holy? There are things you may want to give to somebody. It might not be acceptable. Like so many people say, I've given my life to Christ, I've given my life. So one man of God said, all of you that have been saying, I gave my life, I gave my life. One man of God said, can you ask God, that life you gave, did he really receive it? That most of the life we gave him, he knew we didn't do it out of our heart, out of our mind. He then, he, he didn't receive it. Just like so many people in those days, in late 80s, 90s. Early 90s, when people started losing grip of the whole thing. In 80s, when people say, I'm born again, they're born again. In 80s, it will be too rare for somebody that's not born again to carry the Bible out openly. So many unbelievers are ashamed of carrying the Bible. But today, the worst sinner can even carry the Bible in the head and still do what he wants to do. I was coming back from a where one day somebody showed me somebody. He went for evangelism. He was going out preaching. He said, this man can preach, moving from street to street. He was putting on a collar. He was putting on a clergy dress. But to my greatest surprise, he said, do you know what he went to buy now? I said, what? He said, he went to buy India hem. Now, after preaching, ministering to people, he will go and buy India hem and smoke. That's why the demon is caging him. We pray for him that God release him and open his eyes of understanding in Jesus' name. This is why, that's, that's where the word acceptability comes. He's saying that by the message of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. That's not acceptable before men. There are a lot of things men will accept, but God said, I will not accept this. Don't take it. Don't accept it. Acceptable, acceptable unto God. The which our reasonable service. Service is not what you do once. Which is, that's why I told you it is a continuous service. Which is a reasonable servant, service. Which is what God expects for you to do. This is the kind of service God desires of you. This is the kind of service God will want you to be doing for him. This is the kind of service God wants you to do morning, afternoon, and night. This is the kind of service that pleases Jehovah. This is the kind of service that God is interested in. This is the kind of service that is loving before God. This is the kind of service that is mighty and marvelous before God. Which is your reasonable service. That's what the Bible says. Which is your reasonable service? Which is your reasonable service? So it is as you consecrate yourself, Lord. I consecrate my spirit, soul, and body. I choose to live a dedicated life, a holy life, a pure life. I choose to live a life of humility, a life of love, a life of quietness, 
a life of caring, a life of obeying God, a life of staying with the Lord, a life of prayer, a life of fasting, a life of seeking the face of the Lord. This is the kind of life I want to do. This is the kind of life I want to seek. This is the kind of life I want to live. If these things are the kind of life that you want to live, oh, unto God be all the glory. Hallelujah. Which is a reasonable service. Every day you need to check yourself. How do you check yourself? Through reading the scripture, the Bible, the word of God. Consecrate yourself. Any man, any woman that didn't consecrate himself or herself will not see himself in heaven. Will not see himself heading towards God and heading towards heaven. Now is the hour day that you serve God, you serve him in spirit and in truth. Now is the hour of dedication. Now is the hour. When the real thing is going to happen and the name of Christ alone shall be glorified and magnified forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. May God, the most holy God, the God of love and mercy, show us mercy. That only him alone shall be glorified. That only him alone shall be uplifted and magnified. We love the man of Calvary. Jesus of Nazareth, he will share us mercy and give us grace to run our race to the end. All of you that is running this race, it looks tired, you look tired, you look weak along the line. You see, my feet, nothing is happening. Don't worry, relax yourself, something is happening. God is producing a lot of powerful things inside of your life. Go ahead and move on. Go ahead and move ahead. For unto God be other glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at what happened in the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 23. To tell you that it is continual. It is continuous. You must continue to do it. You must continue to consecrate yourself. Living this life. You just know what to do once and for Ah, I remember those days when I consecrated myself. If you remember those days when you consecrated yourself, that means today you are a slider. You are no more in the Lord. Continue in this faith. Continue in this righteousness. Continue in this purity. Continue. Go ahead. Don't let anything set you back. Don't let anything weigh you down. Continue you? The Bible says, remember, if we don't get weary along the line, we're going to reap one day. Child of God, can you go ahead? In the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 23. Luke chapter 9 verse 23. Luke chapter 9 verse 23. The Bible says, and he said unto them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. You have a cross you have to carry. You have a cross. That is the consecration I'm talking about. You have a daily cross to carry. If any man will come after me, if any man will want to be like me, if any man will want to have the inheritance I'm talking about, if any man will be possessed or will want to possess of the goodness of mine, let the person take up his cross. What is your cross? Have you picked up your cross? Are you following Christ? Are you walking in Christ? Are you walking with Christ? Have you picked up your cross? Now is the time for you to take up your cross. Now is the time for you to say continually. The Bible, the word of God said that. And he said unto them, if any man is willing, if any man wills, okay, if any man will come after me. If you say I'm after Jesus, I'm for Jesus. After Jesus is that I have emptied myself. I have come for Jesus. I want to serve him in purity and in truth. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily. Follow me. That means consecration should be daily. It could be just that little insult from that neighbor. You endure it that day. That may be the cross of the day. It may be that abuse from that person living close to you. Even in the office, even in the working place. Even along the road, even in taxi. It could be you continue enduring. The thing you're supposed to have busted, you didn't. Just that accusation that you never knew about. These are the daily crosses. Let me tell you, some of us thought that it is bed of roses. No. As far as you want to grow in the Lord, as far as I pray that I say, oh God, I want to grow in you, give me grace. Whenever you are saying, oh God, oh God, give me a caring heart, show me how to love. God will give you broken and shattered people to take care of them. That is to prove to you, that is my answer to you. Are you hearing me? Whenever you are praying, you say, oh God, give me wisdom. Daddy, I need wisdom from you. God will give you a problem to solve. He'll give you a problem to solve so that out of it, wisdom will come out. Are you hearing me? Most of our prayers are answered. But we don't know they are answered. We're seeing them as problems that we need to shift backward, pull with our leg, destroy this and this and that. No, that is not what we're supposed to do. What are we trying to say? Okay, take up your cross daily and follow me. Are you ready to follow Jesus of Nazareth daily? 
So many of us were following him last day, last two years, last three years. Even last month, some followed him even to the extent of last week. And they're no more following him today because of a lot of things they're seeing. What is it that you're seeing that's more important than your soul? What is it that you're seeing that is more important than heaven? What is the situation? What is the circumstances? Is it not because you is it because you've not gotten a child? Is it that is what is troubling your heart? Is it because you have not passed that exam? Because you've not gotten that green card, because you have not got that gotten that visa to travel, because you have not made that money, because you have not connected in that business. All these things are vanity. All these things are here. The one that is more important is your soul. Take up your cross daily and follow me. Consecration is daily. When you're consecrating yourself to the Lord, you have taken a decision. That means, Lord, I love you more than gold. I love you more than silver. I love you more than American visa. I love you more than American dollars, more than European euros. I love you more than British pounds, Lord. I love you more than South African gold, Lord. I love you. I have made up my mind to walk with you and to love you. That is what it means. That is consecration. Consecration is all about coming, affirming, and telling him what you can do, the way, the extent you can walk with him, the extent you believe in the scripture, the extent of things, the level where you stop and where you cannot continue. All these things are working together. The Bible, the word of God said all things are working together for good. Are you still a child of God? Do you still live in holiness? Do you still live in righteousness? God of heaven and earth is interested in everything about you. God is well willing and greatly willing to do it for you. And his name alone shall be glorified in Jesus' name. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. The Lord wants you to take up your cross daily to follow him. Follow him in the morning. Follow him in the afternoon. Follow him in the night. Follow him in the evening. Follow him all day long. That's the desire of the Lord. That's what the Lord is expecting of you to do. And by the time you begin to do it the way the Lord wants to do it, wants you to do it, then you have nothing to regret in any way, in any form. For God is highly interested in everything about you. Hallelujah. But when you are the one, <clears throat> when you are the one, you look, you go, you look, you go, no, 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 no. Look at what the Bible said. Don't look and go. Look and continue. 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 The Bible said in James chapter 1 verse 25, James chapter 1 verse 25, But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, he be, he be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his days. You look into the word of God, you look into the future of the word of God, you look into what God has spoken, what God has said, and you choose to continue. That is the law of liberty of life. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty, aha, uh -huh, and continue therein, he said, I will continue in the Lord. I will dip a little deeper in Jesus Christ. I will go ahead in Jesus. I will continue with Jesus. Lord Jesus of Nazareth, help me. I don't have strength of my own. I have power. I don't have power of my own. But on you, I cling, O Lord. On you, I trust. On you, I believe. Lift me up. Help me. The Lord is the strength of your life. And surely the Lord will do that for you. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continue therein. He being not a forgetful hearer. You don't hear, you forget. Do you know why you forget what you hear? It's because you don't practice it. If the Lord said, don't tell lies, and you said, God said that, don't or not tell lies, and you continue practicing it, you are moving by the standard and will of God. Okay? But a doer of the work. You are the doer, not a forgetful hearer. May we, we, a lot of people are talking the talk, while a few are doing the do. Are you hearing me? With the few are doing, an American said, uh, 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 if the if the people that talk the talk will do the do, then there will be less problem. You know we're very good in preaching, in preaching, sweet words, but when it comes to practicali practicalizing it, it seems that uh, as if we're slacking back. No, 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 no. The love of money is the root of all evil. Why must we charge money to go and preach the word of God? Why must we charge money to go and preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus? May the God of strength help strengthen us. May God of help help us. And let Christ's name alone be glorified forevermore. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So God Almighty wants you to continue and continue and continue and continue and continue in Him. And continue in Him. We have a lot of scriptures where God is talking to you. Where God is telling you about dedicating yourself and continue in Him. Continue in Him morning, night and afternoon. Every day and all day long, God wants you to continue in Him. 
Oh, look at what the Bible said in First John chapter 2, verse 19. If you continue in the law, you are not a backslider. But when you cannot do it, you become a backslider. You come and look in, you go away. First John chapter 2, verse 19. First John chapter 2, verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. But they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not of all of us. They were not among us. They came and heard the word of God. They felt they can. They just repented from their head and not from their heart. They didn't give Jesus their spirit, soul, and body. They came and gave Jesus their body. Just like what I told them there before yesterday. While I was preaching, I said, whenever holiness is being preached to people without the power of the Holy Spirit, you're preaching holiness to people without the power of the Holy Spirit, the result will be that hypocrites will feed the church of Jesus. When you preach the holiness to people without the power of the Holy Spirit, hypocrites will feed the church. That will be the result. May the mighty hand of grace help us. She is thoroughly true in every aspect and ramification, and Christ be magnified, Christ be honored, Christ be adored, Christ be praised, Forever and ever in Jesus' wonderful name. Hallelujah. God be honored. God be adored. God be exalted. For unto the Lord be all the glory. Forever and ever in the wonder working name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Have you seen it? He said, okay. Okay, they went out from us. That's First John chapter 2, verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would not doubt have continued with us. If they have known, if he's really a child of God, if he had wanted to make heaven, he would have continued in Christ. He would have continued preaching the word of God. So consecration is a continuous thing. It's not what you come, you see, you say, let me go home and wear it. Let me see if I can do it. And from that, the person goes off and doesn't come back again. No, 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 no. That is not consecration at all, at all. For consecration, you say that I belong to Jesus. I belong, I am glad. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to him. Oh, I am glad. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. It must be a continuous something. It's not you overcome sin today and tomorrow you fell into sin again. And next tomorrow you confess, you fail, you rise. No, you continue being an overcomer. First John chapter 5 verse 5. First, first Timothy, sorry. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 5. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 5. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 5. Look at what the Bible, the word of God says. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 5. Now, she that is a widow indeed and desolate, trust in God and continue in supplication and prayers night and day. He, she that is a widow, she trusts in the Lord. She must continue her consecration through prayers. Day and night, continue with the Lord. Continue in prayer. He that is a child of God, living outside the shore of Father's land, where there's trouble, persecution, where there are few believers, unlike the ones from your father's land. You continue in prayers, day and night. Continue, you don't pray and become weak in that. You continue day in, day out. Continue praying, continue praying until solution comes, until answer comes, until when there is, a, you know, joy of the Holy Spirit. And Christ's name shall be glorified forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. To God be all the glory. You see, so he that is a widow, are you a widow there right now? The Bible says you shouldn't lose hope. You should continue in prayers day in, day out, day in, day out. You should continue with the power of prayers. You should continue with Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14 again. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and have been assured of. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Continue on those things we have learned. Continue in the work of God. Continue in the word of God. Don't lose hope. There are modernistic churches that have abandoned the Bible. They come and dress the way they like, talk the way they like, begin to reason. You can just take some alcohol, drink it to check yourself, to balance this and this. All these things affect doctrine. You can just commit a little sin, a small sin. After all, you are a human being. This and that. They begin to misinterpret the scripture, the word of God, and turn the 
Bible, the word of God upside down. That is why the injunction is here. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. You have learned them from the Lord Jesus. This was the foundation that was laid in your life. You got born again. You went to foundational class. The truth of the word of God was taught to you. You saw the truth of the reality. God was sharing your prayers in those days because you believe in the word of God. And today what is happening? What is the difference between now and then? Now is the hour day that you trust God, believe God, come to God, must worship him in spirit and in truth. Where have you gone astray? Can you come back and say, Lord, I've gone astray here and here. I want to come back to you. The prodigal son came back. Can you come back today? What were the things you were taught at the beginning? The reality of the truth of the word of God you were taught at the beginning. Have you not abandoned them? Have you not left them? Have you not taken your own? Have you not taken Jezebel doctrine? Have you not taken demonic doctrine? Have you not taken the evil man and evil man doctrine? Those ones that are clothing you, have your destiny not been changed this time around? So that you, be, you live in pains and whatever. May the mighty hand of grace help us. May the mighty hand of grace help us. May the mighty hand of grace help us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that this God of love and this God of power, that this God of deep understanding will continue out in our life and help us in Jesus' name. Before I conclude this message, I want to show you a chapter again, a verse again in the Bible. I want to show you a verse again in the Bible where God encouraged you to continue. In Colossians chapter 1 verse 23. Colossians chapter 1 verse 23. Colossians chapter 1 verse 23. The Bible says, if you continue in faith, granted and settled. Continue in this faith that have been granted. This is the word of God. God have said it. Bible have said it. Continue. You see, if you continue in the faith granted and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel. Don't be moved away from the hope of the gospel. Continue in the gospel which you have had, which was preached to every creature which is under heaven. Whereof I, Paul, I am made a minister. This message was preached to all of us. This message was preached to all. He says himself, being St. Paul, he's a minister of the gospel. He has believed the word of God and it worked for him. Child of God, this is a high time you take a U-turn. This is a high time you talk to yourself. Where am I? Am I in Christ? Am I in crisis? Where have I gone? Where have I gone? Have I gone astray so far? Now is the hour. Day that you serve God, you do that in spirit and in truth. We're talking about consecration. Can you consecrate yourself? Forget about the mere things of this life. Forget about those things that are attraction. Those things you call attraction, they are distraction. Jesus is through the attraction point. Are you hearing me? What is luring your faith away? What is destroying your prayer life? What is removing your evangelism life? What is weakening your spiritual life? What is making you not to be dependent in the Lord as you used to be? They, you rule before God, you pour out your heart. But today it's like you're becoming like an uh, uh, Adam and Eve. You're hiding from the Lord because sin will cover you. Sin will belittle you. Sin will make you to be under. And sin is a sinker. Sin will sink you. But when you say no, in righteousness, I come back to God again. God help me. We're talking about consecration. Consecrate yourself before the Lord. Renew yourself. Renew the covenant you have with the Lord. You know you have done a lot of things contrary to that comfort you said. January this year, you made a lot of vow. Lord, this and this and that. February, man, this is only April. Where are you today? It's not done by power of our mind. Ask God for the real genuine salvation in your heart. From the, 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 the tell him, I pour out my heart, whatever thing that is taking over my heart. No, 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 no. I want you to be the one that takes totality over my heart. And the Lord God Almighty knows how to take over your heart and his name alone shall be glorified in jesus name having spoken to you right now consecration is what we're talking about can you consecrate yourself can you make it a daily business can you make it daily before the lord can you worship him in the morning in the afternoon in the night can you tell him you are my everything i will serve you with the purity of my heart i will serve you with the reality of my heart help me and see me thoroughly true surely the lord will do that and the name of christ shall be glorified in you in jesus name hallelujah we we'll bless the ancient of the days. We we'll magnify our fantasy. The Elohim Eleon. Christ be adored. In Jesus' name. Amen. We we'll magnify Rafa. We we'll magnify Nisi. We we'll magnify Elohim and Eleon. Prince of peace, King of King, God of God be glorified in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you've done. We we'll bless him and praise him forevermore. Amen. It is well with the righteous.
It is well with the good people of God. It is well, and Christ's name will be magnified. Unto the Lord be the glory. Amen. God bless you as I've had this word. Do you want to say, God, I want to reconsecrate myself. I want to make it continue. I don't have stamina. When I rise, I fall. When I rise, I fall. When I rise, I fall. But I need stamina to continue in you in the morning, continue in you in the afternoon, continue in you in the night, continue in you all day long. I need this stamina. I need this stamina to continue. If that is the stamina you need to continue in the Lord, the Lord will give it to you right now. The Bible says, would you come boldly to the throne of grace and ask? He give us unbreadedly. He doesn't, you know, he just... Take, give us a, no, 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 no. He want to pour it on us. He want to give it to us. He want to give us abundant grace and abundant blessings so that we can arise and do the will of God. May the mighty hand of grace help us. And let this God that is holy, let this God that is worthy, let this God that is glorious, let this God that is excellent, see us thoroughly true in every aspect. And let his name be magnified forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. What, where are we right now? Do you want to make a decision? Do you want to say, Lord Jesus, be a help to me? Shall we pray? Begin to pray now. Can you tell God, I need an inner stamina. I don't want to be rising and falling. I don't want to be rising and falling. I want to rise and rise. I want to rise and fly. I want to rise and move ahead. I want to rise and move on. Can you talk to God like that? I want to rise and move on. I want to rise and go ahead in you. I want to really have the wings of ego to fly above circumstances, to fly above situations of this life. I know a lot of them would like to weigh me down and press me down, but I want to go higher in the Lord. Can you begin to pray? Can you tell God like that? Give me grace, abundant grace to go, to flow and fly. And Christ's name will be glorified in you in Jesus' name. If that is your desire, you must first of all be born again. You must receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. Without you being born again, you don't have foundation at all. It's only when you're born again that you're not in the foundation of Christ Jesus, made by Jesus alone. If you want to really say, I want to start with making foundation in Christ, to be found in Christ, identified with Christ, can you say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry I am a sinner. Forgive me every of my sin. Give me grace to be your child. From the depth of my heart, Lord, I take this decision to serve you as my Lord and Savior. Give me grace to serve you, Lord, and to worship you in purity and holiness. In Jesus' name, amen. May God give you grace to be his own child, to live for him and for him alone, in holiness and righteousness and purity, and Christ name be glorified forevermore. In the wonder-working name of Jesus, we pray. Peace of God upon you and glorious hand of God upon you. God's power and might and hand rest upon you. And Jesus makes you sound and holy. Unto God alone be all the glory. As his mighty name alone is being magnified. You are sealed up and covered in the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For unto God alone be all the worship and might. Hallelujah, purpose, praises. Hallelujah, honor. Hallelujah, worship and might to the name of this man of war. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. It's well with you going out and coming in. The glorious peace of God is upon your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. May you not have a desire for sin again. Rather, may you have desire for righteousness and holiness. Amen. I begin to pray right now by the authorities in the word of God for you that have dedicated your life to Christ. That the mighty hand of salvation rest upon you. That the mighty hand of purity and glory of God be upon your life. That from today onwards, you live for God and for God alone. That the mighty hand of grace rest upon your life. And Christ alone be glorified. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Let the power of purity, holiness, and righteousness rest upon your life. Christ's name be magnified. Christ's name be honored. Peace of God rule over you. The grace to lift you up come your way. The grace to continue in the Lord come your way. And may you be strengthened by the power of his might. In Jesus' name we pray. God keep you and bless you. As his mighty hand walk upon you, keep keeping in the Lord. Remember without holiness you cannot see God. Therefore, make yourself a living sacrifice. Live for God. Choose to live for God. You are rising and falling, but today I pray grace to come and you live above sin in Jesus' name. God's grace be upon you. Until we meet here again. Uh, by Wednesday, we're going to be online again. On Sunday morning, Wednesday by 7 p.m. Nigerian time. On Sunday again, by 9 a.m. Nigerian time, we're going to be online. Remember, Nigeria and Europe is on the same time, and uh, London is on the same time right now. Central Europe is uh, one hour ahead of us. We give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Remember, a marriage seminar is coming up on Monday. Maybe you have not been part of this marriage seminar. Try to be. We're going to start by 7 in the evening on Monday. 
Sometimes we do it for two hours or they are about to the glory of God. Send your question through my WhatsApp number 080 plus 234 uh, Just through that, send your questions. Plus 234 then send forth your questions in WhatsApp, not calling. Just send it, write them down. Send them, we're going to attend to you. A lot of people have a lot of questions to ask about marriage. Nobody is there to answer them, but we're volunteer to answer you right now. Be free, be free, be free, be free. We will answer you, and Christ's name shall be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God will keep you, and God will bless you. Amen. Glory be to the name of Jesus forever. God be glorified in your life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. I shall come your way again. It is well with you. Keep keeping in the Lord. Always remember to dedicate yourself. Consecrate yourself to God. It's well with you to meet again.